So we were going to go check out Elitch Gardens up in Denver today, but uh, turns out they're doing a whole bunch of events up there already. Uh, there's a sports event that they sold like 60,000 tickets to, was going on yesterday. Uh, they got like some food event with a bunch of different restaurants from Denver going on up there. So instead what we were going to go do is we were going to head down towards the south of Colorado Springs and go check out a place called Seven Falls that he's talked a lot about. Um, I have not checked out, but uh, we tend to forget there's a lot of natural beauty out here to go check out. So we're going to go do that instead. Here we go. Okay, so we are headed in to go return... Lady and the Tramp, because I bought a triplicate, not a duplicate, a triplicate. So we're going to go return that and see if I can get something that I don't already own twice. New movie, Up. Looking forward to watching this. I have not seen this in a long time, but uh, it did seem like they were not going to let me do the exchange at first, which would have been upsetting considering the fact that I got the other movie um, all of 12 hours ago. But did get a new movie, and now we're going to go get some food, and then we're going to go check out Seven Falls. Here we go. We are at Chick-fil-A getting food before we head out, and uh, this may be the least amount of time I've ever waited in a Chick-fil-A drive-thru before, which uh, makes me think that... Uh, it's all about location. Because one of our, by our houses is just inaccessible most of the time. Okay, so we have made it to Seven Falls. Uh, well, the shuttle uh, part. And Mike said it's about a 10 minute ride up to the falls. Probably get some good shots along the way from inside the shuttle. And then uh, once we get to the top, we'll see some pretty cool stuff hopefully. So here we go. This is where we took the shuttle up to Seven Falls, right? No, no, it's actually been moved. Oh, God, okay. So now you're going to go to uh, seven, uh, 1045 Lower Gold Camp Road. Okay, cool. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay, so we made it off the shuttle and made it to Seven Falls. There is the trailhead. Here we go. Let's go see what's up over here. Tickets. Let's see what Colorado has to offer. So we got what they are calling tickets. Most normal people would call these receipts, but we were told to take it up here to the ticket checker up the road, is what I was told. So we'll go up here. Okay, so there is a shuttle we can take, but I don't think we should do that. Trust me, it's worth the walk. Fair enough. <laughs> Hello. Can we not just walk up anymore? Just, no, yes, you can, of okay. course. We just also provide a train for people who okay. don't want to walk. Oh, okay, cool. You guys just want to go ahead on this side? Sure on the left side? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, okay cool. Walk up and follow the pay pass. Awesome, thank you. Oh, wow. That's incredible. That's pretty cool. This is a very pretty place. Yeah. I don't know if the scale of this is really coming through on this video, but this will make you feel real small.
Yeah, that'll make you feel real tiny. So we've been walking a little bit now. Got some good shots. Found the out Outpost General Store. So we're gonna go in here. And see what kind of stuff they have in here. Halloween stuff's already coming back. That makes me happy. Lots of candy. We know we're gonna come for a uh, for a bottle of water. At least that's in there. All right, moving on. Yeah, we've been uh, we've heard people screaming out of joy, and uh, apparently that's what it's from. Is that zip line up there? That could be fun. Would your fear of heights allow you to do something like that? Yeah, I could do it. Yeah? The harnesses make it feel a little less like I'm gonna die kind of thing. It's okay, his fear of heights is like normal. My uh, irrational fear of bees is a different story entirely, so his makes more sense. So I just saw a raindrop and these are not looking promising, even a little bit. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, it's starting to rain now. I'm gonna get the gear put away while it's still safe to do so. So we'll pick this back up here shortly. a food truck of some sort right over there people seem to be stopping and enjoying that not quite hungry again yet though oh, oh. <laughs> those look less fun that at least like goes back and forth that over there there's no back and forth. That is just almost straight up. Almost straight up. Well, that'll be fun. We're making our way down to the elevator, the mine elevator, or mountain elevator, not mine elevator. My mountain elevator. And this is actually telling a story when the stairs were built so the visitors could see all the falls. So this is basically talking about everything getting built and everything. Starting excavation for the tunnel. There's a process all through here. This is them building the elevator. So this whole thing is, yeah. You see it all going up right there. Oh, all going up right there. And then that's the Hill family. I'm assuming it owns all of this. Different stars, starlets, famous people, all that have visited here. Some political people here. We have pottery over here. Presumably, yeah, Native American, Hopis. Really cool. Different pottery. Different paintings, all sorts of stuff. Really cool stuff. I love history. I've always been a really, really, really big fan of history, and so this stuff is really, really cool to me.
different people that have come and enjoyed it. This is from Life Magazine, wow. Got more stuff here, but I think we're gonna kinda make our way down here. A lot more Native American, a lot of turquoise. Let's see, this. that's really cool. All right. Now, on to the elevator. Of course, what would any attraction be without stuff to buy? I would assume lots of candy. M more, more candy. Probably rock candy, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. That would have been less fun going up. So we've made it to the bottom of the waterfall and so far very very pretty um, next step is to make it up that thing time to pull up climbing lights I mean, good lord. If I felt out of shape when we were hiking at the open space, this is just really killing my self-esteem over here. <sighs> However, that's really pretty. So at least there's that. Okay, so we've made it to the halfway point to a place called Shorty Falls, called a plunge waterfall where the water free falls without touching the underlying rock. It looks to me like it's touching the underlying rock. But what do I know? Really pretty though. Goes right down there. Right down to there. Last fall. Falls fall. A horsetail fall drops into a punch bowl. So that makes more sense. So this is Bridal Veil Falls. That makes more sense than the, uh, I wouldn't say it didn't hit anything on the way down. Still working our way up. We're getting there. Okay, I don't know if this is the top, but I would really like for this to be the top. That'd be lovely.
So upon reviewing the uh, trail map they have here, mm -hmm. um, we have found that there is a grave site apparently, which we did not know about. So that'll be pretty cool. I'm always up for a graveyard. Let's see where it is, see if we can find it. It's supposed to fork at a certain point and then it's supposed to be located on the left fork. So we'll see if we get anything, find anything. Let's go. That, <laughs> that is, there's the zip line. <laughs> Uh, 40 minute round trip 40 minute round trip okay so uh the weather is not improving and looks like it may worsen sooner than later and we got quite a bit of a hike back so uh here we go Okay, so I think we got a little lucky when it comes to the rain. It does seem to have lightened up a whole lot enough to pull the equipment back out, at least mine anyway. Of course, I don't have $3,000 yeah. worth of equipment. All mine is in my backpack. It's all right. I'll, I'll do the outro when we get back to the car. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so finally made it back to the car. Uh, the shuttle ride back felt longer than the shuttle ride up there, right? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Um, it could have had something to do with our very eccentric uh, shuttle driver, who is a very big fan of the Penrose family and everything surrounding them. I mean, down to like glass eye details that it's just, why, whatever. I know he's just having fun with it but it kind of dragged on and he seemed very obsessed with uh, people dying. Um, as Mike referred to it, it was the uh, Colorado shuttle tour of death. <laughs> okay, so we are finally back at the house, uh, finally made it back. And of course, uh, we went to Best Buy because we were outside, which I wasn't going to include in this just for the sake of repetitiveness if it were not for the fact that I actually left with something related to all of this. Did end up finding A Quiet Place in Blu-ray on Steelbook. Had not seen this. Um, almost didn't pick this up, but I have not seen this before and it's only at Best Buy, so I did go ahead and decide to pick that up. And also got Miller's Crossing, which I don't know much about, um, but I do like the Coen brothers. I like John Turturro and uh, I love gangster and period films. So really looking forward to watching those. And I think now we are going to try to find either a pizza or Chinese buffet, whatever the springs has to offer us and i think i'm going to call it there for today uh this was a lot of fun really good trip we did get a little wet towards the end but uh nothing too bad and i still think we uh timed it pretty well as far as getting out of there so thanks for joining me guys uh if you like the videos go ahead and uh, throw me a like if you want to stay up to date on the new ones coming out go ahead and uh, throw me a subscription and i will see you guys next time